this thing has been a long time in the making and I finally was able to pull the first one out of the mold uh, there's some tweaks here and there but overall I'm really really happy with the, uh, the design the fit and the mold itself uh, I was really scared because of the detail that's in it but uh, here it is my custom dragon predator mask now this thing is fairly light it's just it's uh, made out of smooth cast 322 uh, now this is obviously it's the first casting and the future ones will be a lot a lot thicker because right now some of the uh, some of the sides are a little bit thin it's because I had some problems with the material uh, for some reason it was trapping a lot of air and it was just well, you can kind of see. This is all bubbly. This took in a massive amount of air. And uh, I don't know what I did wrong. I'm in air. You know, it doesn't matter. All future casks will probably be doing out of Mold Max. Uh, not Mold Max, but Smooth Cast 320, which cures a lot quicker. I didn't think I'd be able to to use this stuff with this, but uh, you know it flows like water, and I could probably get a mask done in a day as opposed to uh, this took me a long time just to uh, you know to get the patience to to slosh this thing around and around and around with you know, but you don't want to be wearing glasses when you try one of these things on. Peripheral, well, peripheral's not bad. Now, obviously, you'd have the, you'd have the headpiece underneath, probably with the open face and the dreads. Um, these are all curved out, so it'll sit over top of those dreads just you know I, I saw it as a great opportunity because the predators have such a big uh, like the tops of their heads is so massive and so is the the helmet that it's just a shame not to uh, just use that kind of space for uh, for decorating and such so I'm quite happy with what came out for the first mold and this one's probably going to get trimmed and thrown up on my wall and uh, all future ones will be for sale uh, once I once I'm able to reproduce pardon me reproduce a few and uh, get all the trim work finished and uh, get it get settled on a paint that I on a paint job that I actually like uh, they will be going up for sale uh, you can contact me privately through YouTube or you can keep uh, keep your eyes on eBay because I will be putting these things up for sale. I'm not going to wait for people to ask me. They will be going up. So for those some people that never heard of my channel, they're gonna.